Italian and uh, and Pro Bro. Mmm. Mm, okay. All right, great. Yeah. So we'll we'll probably shoot for next Thursday at 1 p.m. to do the raid. I'll still be playing Destiny until then, but we'll just do All like right. uh, we'll just do uh, wait, I'm full on wire. We'll just do random other stuff. Oh, I need I got a lot of crafting to do. Um, you. Why can I only hold a hundred wire? I feel like we've been able to hold a lot more than that in the past. I don't want that salvaging skill. Maybe not though. Okay, you take wire. Let's fill you up. Giggity. Let's fill everything up real quick. Okay. Might need this. There we go. Okay. Looking good, looking good. Maltidas. Uh, am I enjoying Destiny 2? Yes, I am. And you know what? What we're going to do, next time I play Destiny 2, we're going to do a thoughts video. Even though I haven't done the raid yet. Um... Because I, I do want to be able to answer people what I think about it. But the short answer is, yes, I enjoy Destiny 2. But here's the thing. Uh, one of the big reasons I'm enjoying Destiny 2 is because I'm a first-time player of Destiny 2. I'm not a veteran. I didn't have any expectations coming into Destiny 2. I had not played Destiny 1 or the release on console. So everything to me is brand new, and I had no predetermined expectations of what I wanted from the game. So because of that, I'm having a lot of fun in Destiny 2. I, no one will deny it's very pretty. It plays pretty well. There is stuff to do, just not a lot of stuff to do. So, you know, I mean, it, it's a decent game. And I think even the people that hate it will argue it's a decent game. But if you go in without any expectations, um, it's better than decent, in my opinion, which is why I've been enjoying it so much. But it's important to mention that the people that don't like Destiny 2 have very good reasons for not liking Destiny 2. And it's, it's not a situation... Dude, this guy's like right here. What is going on? It's not a situation where you can kind of say, uh, you know, well, I like it, so you should too. That's just not how it works. This is not how it works. So, yeah. Okay, what is, is this guy under me? I, I wanted to come up here and do this hunter mission, but. I'm derping pretty hard here, aren't I? Is he? Um, yeah, maybe underground Terra Blade? I don't know, this is weird. Usually these things come down from wherever you start the hunt. Let's go up here again. Maybe, maybe he's up here and it just didn't register properly. There's the vendor. Oh, you? Maybe it's you. It's probably you. It's you. Okay, good. Keeper. Aurea said that I should compete in the trials here. Aurea did? She's never sent someone before. Then what is your reason for training? I would ask this of any Banuk who attempted the trials. I'm going to challenge Aratok to become chieftain of his work. <laughs> well, you better get started then. All right, let's you do look it. Like you've got some stories to tell. Oh, I outlived most of my stories. I ran with the Thunder's daughters long ago before they ran their course. For a time, we shook the snow off the men of Benor. I couldn't last. Some fell in glorious battle. Some were exiled in infamy. Still glorious, if you ask me. Others had a worse fate. What's worse? To grow old. And find that all the rules and traditions you fought so hard against are still there. That's why I tell all the hunters I trained to stay young. I'm guessing you're not part of the Hunter's Lodge. Every tribe claims they were the first to have hunting grounds. And every tribe claims the Karja stole it from them. So who was the first? We were. And the Karja stole it from you. That's right. Three trials. Right, let's do it. Three challenges to endure. Which are you interested in? Let's try this. The control trial tests the hunter's ability to rein in the storm slinger's power. Uh oh. Only the wisest understand these shamanic weapons, and only the bravest wield them. We'll start when you hit the snow at the bottom of that rope. 
We'll need a moment to pull the machines from the pass into the arenas. Then make your descent. Kill machines with the Storm Slinger. Okay. other stuff too because yeah this is not this is there's no way this is gonna work um okay let's try the little guys first these i think we can work with is really effing hard with this little charge up this thing has. Dude, this trial, this trial is a mess. I don't know about this. I can't even see this guy. That didn't kick, that didn't count, did it? No, it didn't. God damn it! <laughs> I hate controllers so goddamn much. Oh my god. Ah, please give me these games on PC. Whew. So many missed shots because I'm just terrible with controllers. All right. Um. Hmm. This is the Storm Slinger, right? Yeah, it is. Man, this is ass. Basically, it's here. Take this shitty weapon you're never going to use normally and do, you know, basically be a god with it. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Alrighty. God damn it. Okay, one machine down. Stop doing little flips! It's already bad enough to hit you when you're standing still! <laughs> God! I'm literally hitting it on the left and right. <sighs> oh my God! Ah! It's gonna drive me crazy. This weapon is complete ass. Okay, so what are, what are we at? So, right now, six enemies have to be dead and the Ravager. I'm not doing this quest right. I'm not doing this quest right. Um, but the problem is I can't really like do damage to them and then finish them off with the stack. That's not how, that's not how this game works. 
works because you can't see their health. So you never you let them kill me real quick. Um. Hmm. We could try blowing all their armor off first. Maybe. Go up on the wire. Yeah, like go do it from from the top. Let's, we'll try it again, but we'll, we're really really going to try to focus these little guys here. Alright. Oh, 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 you mean this wire. We can't go up on this, unfortunately. Yeah, we once we're on the ground, we have to kind of stay on the ground. One, two, three. How many shots do we take to kill these? Let's try to blow a bunch of his armor off first, maybe. Oh, we're at 56, so... Yeah, there's absolutely no... I, Dude, I couldn't beat this guy with a Storm Slinger in 55 seconds. So I, I don't... I have no clue. There, there has to be a trick to this weapon I don't know. There has to be. There's, there's got to be something I'm missing here because it's not, it's not possible the way that we're doing it now. Let me read the description of this weapon again. Not only that, this weapon is complete ass. Like the idea of doing damage to him and then timing it to properly get the last shot with this thing. It's gonna be impossible. No, I'm holding down the mouse button when I fire. So, like right now, if I if I just hold down the trigger, that's the charge up, and then it just fires. There it goes. Okay, so again, I'm I am missing something hardcore right now. I need to figure out what it is. No, it doesn't count if we get a kill with this, right? So it does have to be with this. I swear we one shot with it sometimes. Lucky me. And now we just hit it twice in the face, three times in the face. Four times. No ammo. Okay. Yeah, trial complete, right? Jesus. Okay, let's take a look at this thing. This weapon fires charge bolts. Consecutive bolts build up a larger charge and deal increased damage. Okay. Now, so it's, it's very important that we hit with everything. But I didn't see like a lot of increased damage. Oh, upgrade the ammo pouch for it. Okay, we haven't done that at all. Maybe maybe that'll help. Need a squirrel bone. Okay. Oh, now maybe by getting more of a Maybe this will increase the consecutive shot multiplier. Maybe. Let's take a look. Man, we need a squirrel bone. I've tried to kill squirrels multiple times and have not been able to. I guess we'll have to shoot them with a bow or something. They're really hard to get. Oh, there's also an improved version of it. Oh. Okay. Hold on, it's really hot in here. Only the wisest understand these shamanic weapons, and only the bravest wield them. 
Okay. Let's see. Let's see if this makes a big difference. I beat a champion's talent. I should get the bear act talking. In fact, I'll bet my name's all over Song's Edge. I mean, I just want to see if this makes a big difference or not. I'm not expecting it. Here's an idea. Let's put in a consecutive hit damage weapon and then make the hitbox really small and make it so the enemies move around like gnats on meth. How about that? Is that, is that, a, let's do that. Okay, good. Sounds, sounds good, Frank. Let's put that weapon in the DLC because I'm sure the players will, will not find that annoying at all. Great, great call there, Frank. I'm glad we have you on the design team. That, that was, that was, a, that was an excellent decision, Frank. I'm sure the players will just, will just love your thinking on that one. Can I not climb up the wall? Okay, apparently I can't climb because, you know, we don't do that anymore in this game. There we go. Uh, okay, well. Let's try another one of the challenges. I think we're going to need to upgrade this before we come back and do that Trial's one. Not over Hopefully the rest of the challenges aren't this dumb. Very well. We did pick Ultra Difficulty. And I and I'm guessing that's making this even more hard. <laughs> understand the ebb and flow of combat. Machines will be released into the arenas in waves. Pace oh. yourself. Strategize. Only then will you be able to defeat them all without being overwhelmed. Why is that gray now? If you're prepared, take the rope and face the trial. We'll need a moment to pull the machines from the pass into the arenas. Then make your descent. Leno says, to be honest, Code, this trial is ass even on normal. Oh, I can I can imagine it, man. Yeah, it's gonna take me many tries to do this. This only. This is Okay. Wait, what is what? No, stop. I don't want this dumb weapon. Have to actually go between them. Oh shit. <laughs> Gotta get my loot, bros. Oh, big one. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, damn it. Definitely no scrap. Oh, God. Way too far. No! You were supposed to come over here, jerk. Son of a dick. There we go. Man, this is still just wave two? Jesus. Oh, come on, dude. Where's your little ninja slide? Where's your ninja slide? No! 
Cool. One more, one more, one more. Come on, come on, come on. Go to the last area. Where's the last area? Over there. Shit. I think we're gonna need to do more AOE on this one. I don't think I uh that AOE Let's enough. do this. Oh, come on, dude! Yo, we're stunned! Shit! That's the weakness. That was the weakness. Damn it. I thought we had a chance. I do not think we're going to have a chance now. What is that shit? Allo, you're supposed to be good at this. Disappointment. Oh, there's an entire other wave. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Well, we are definitely not doing this one right now. How is it that some of these live so much longer than the other ones? Is it because they're red eye watchers? Maybe that's it. Come on, dude! Is that it? Another wave? Holy shit, man! Yo, I don't think I'm playing this game right anymore. These these challenges have shown me that I don't know what I'm doing in this game. Like, the times on these don't make any sense to me. They don't make any sense. This is ridiculous. I am, I am not understanding how we're supposed to do these challenges at all. We can beat him, but... We're not gonna beat him uh, under time. I want to see how much consecutive damage we can do with this. 46, 50, 54, 55, 136? Wait, did I read that right? Hold on, hold on. That could be a thing. That last hit looked ridiculous. All right, let's see here. One, two, 50, 54. Okay, let's see how much it's doing. It doesn't seem to be doing that much more now that I'm looking at it. This is the one piece of armor on his neck and I managed to find a way to hit it. Thank you. Oh my god. Woo! We're apart. Mm. Yeah, bronze in 20 minutes should be possible. Dude, I I we were supposed to do that in what? Three and a half minutes? I, I I don't know, man. I'm starting to wonder if they put in this new ultra difficulty and just didn't balance these for it. 
I mean, that or they expect you to just, like, break out that really powerful bomb thing and just bomb every single enemy and use every single resource you have building them because they're really expensive. But that, that just seems dumb. So, I, I don't know, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. I did a lot of things that we could have shaved more time off. But, oof, still, like, that's rough. That's real rough. Luke Arkea says it might not be balanced for ultra hard. Yeah, I, I I don't think it is, to be honest. I don't think it is. I don't think it's balanced for ultra hard. I could see this being really, really difficult on normal. <laughs> From what I've seen here. Have I sorted the staff? Uh, we did one of them, yeah. By the way, that blip sound somebody earlier said, could you please turn off Discord? That blip sound you're hearing is my shield recharging. I don't even have Discord on. So, yeah. When you're hearing, let me see if I can trigger it real quick. All right, listen. That. That's the shield coming back on. Okay, well, what is she going to give us? Let's try the last one. I mean, we're not going to beat it, but... First attempt. This trial is the most dangerous ordeal in the snow chance. Of course it is. While not all chieftains pass it, only a chieftain may attempt it. This trial is the most dangerous ordeal in oh. the snow chance. So we have to actually be a chieftain to do it. Please. All right. Well, I'm getting no out of trials. here. Not yet. You can always come back. That was totally ass. But it looks like we did enough to progress the main quest, which I didn't expect. Did we? Oh, let's go. Let's go find. We'll go find the missing hunter for now. Yeah. Oh, that's all we had to do to prove ourselves to the Werak? Okay, that was really easy. Yeah, let's go do the survivor. Let's go do this first. Good. Goes to a bunch of area we have not gone to yet. Why don't I see any fires? There's really no fires over here? Weird. Okay. Did I fight a, Fos a Frostclaw yet? Yes, it was awesome. That was one of my favorite fights so far. The Frostclaws are really cool. When is drop frames? 1 p.m. in about uh, 2 hours and 50 minutes. I'll be taking a lunch break in just a little bit. And then coming back for drop frames. Well, actually, we still got a while into my lunch break. Over an hour. Yeah, today drop frames is at the new time moving forward, which is 1 p.m. EST. Back to the old time, funny enough. Hey, the guy who does nothing, how are you, man? What's up? This music is awesome. Yeah, we need to really get a lot of this medicinal stuff back. I used a bunch in those trials. Good. I can use this. Yep, EU friendly DF. You got it. And yeah, for the record, if you're wondering how to watch DF, just come here. You can just you can just come to this channel. We we host where it is every week. So if you hang out here, you can hang out in chat and watch the show. Oh, there's a campfire. Oh, and there's one too. Why did those just pop up on my map? How weird. Oh well. What's the topic for drop frames today? Um, I think a lot of WoW stuff. A lot of the drop frames guys are WoW players. So we'll probably be talking about the new announcements. Uh, BlizzCon as well. We'll be talking about BlizzCon. Also, the drop frames guest today is uh, Soda Poppin, who is an IRL slash WoW slash variety streamer. So, uh, and he's big into IRL. So that'll be fun to talk to him about that. And uh, yeah. And then we all got games to talk about too. Zeke's got a lot of Indie Sunday stuff to talk about. Looking forward to that as always. 
What is Drop Frames? Drop Frames is our weekly Twitch talk show that I do with uh, Ezekiel the Third and It Me JP, who is another caster on Twitch. And uh, what we do is we generally do it every week. We have a guest. We talk about what games are look we're looking forward to. We talk about um, any current events at the time, any Twitch news, um, really all sorts of stuff. But really, if it involves Twitch or what we do on Twitch, then we generally talk about it on the show.